Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Vlogmas day number six. Uh, I am currently getting ready. Uh, it is, uh, well, I was gonna say early in the morning, but it's not. It's sort of like, it's around nine o'clock. I am uh, just gonna put my face on for the day to start my work day uh, today. And while I get ready, I'm sitting in my beauty, like little area in my closet. I just watch YouTube. So for me, this is really the only time of the day I get to watch YouTube or that I choose to watch YouTube anyway. But uh, right now I'm gonna be watching Megan Elb Elby. Is that how you say her last name or Elby? I'm not sure. Uh, some of her latest vlogs, she's adorable. Love her quirky style. Uh, I've got my coffee and we're gonna put on some makeup while I or I'm gonna put on some makeup while I do that. I'm actually gonna try out a new product as well today. I'm gonna to be trying out the new CoverGirl mascara. This is their Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. It's up to 24 hour wear and it's supposed to have big, bold volume. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Uh, it's in stores already, but uh, you guys know I'm pretty faithful to my other mascara that I use. But I am always on the hunt for another one in case there's another one that's really, really good. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Uh, and it is cruelty free as well, so I'm happy about that. So I'll report back and let you know how this mascara works out when I give it a try. And yeah, I'm just going to get ready for the morning and then I'll touch base with you guys as soon as I'm done that to show you an outfit of the day and so we can get started. Okay, beautiful people, I am now ready for the day and let's check out this mascara. I am super impressed. Look at my lashes. They look nice and feathery and long. Yeah, and it's definitely not clumpy. Everything's beautifully separated. <laughs> I really like it. I think this actually turned out quite beautifully. So again, this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I'm super impressed. Now I have two coats of it on just because I feel like two coats of mascara always just makes the lash line and the lashes in general look a little bit thicker and longer. But I don't know. This might be replacing my gold Nulti. This is beautiful. I'm going to continue using it through the week and I'll let you guys know, but I do like it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day now that I'm all dressed, uh, cause I'm gonna start working. You guys know, I, I mentioned this in my vlog before, I like to get dressed for work. It just makes me feel more like a human being and productive for the day, especially cause I deal with clothing. So if I'm not dressed, I just, I don't know, there's just, I don't feel high vibe and I always feel like you should get dressed to be your highest and best self. Yeah and I have no exception to that rule. I also want to dress to feel the same way. So uh, in my ears, I just have my basic studs that are always there. And then these are the earrings that I picked up from Green Bijou, Trisha McMaster, uh, while I was at the One of a Kind show, which if you guys watch Vlogmas Day 2, you will have seen. Uh, let me spin you around so I can show you the rest of the outfit. Okay, so the rest of my look today is super colorful. Oh, that's a little bit bright. Um, very colorful, but you guys know I'm a color lover. So I have on a button up shirt from Forever 21 underneath my sweater here that you can see with a little bit of shadowing that it's kind of peeking through, but not in any like way that I personally wouldn't think it's appropriate to wear. But I love all the color. It's got like blue, navy blue, orange, brown, yellow, and sort of an off white, which I really love. So I just like the exposing that collar through the top of the sweater. I thought that's super cute. I and then have this oversized sweater over top, which is becoming more and more oversized, but I actually don't, I don't mind it. I think it's okay for what I'm, uh, what I'm wearing uh, and then because again, I'm just feeling very colorful and I was working off of this light blue up top for just a little bit more something. I decided to rock these wide leg trousers. You guys know how obsessive I am about wide leg trousers. They're just my vibe. And these are from Theory. These were a spring trouser, so it's a lighter wool, uh, which I don't mind because I feel like when you layer, it's totally fine in the winter. Um, and for a pant like this, I would probably put a high boot underneath so I would get extra coverage and warmth from it that way also. But I just love the silhouette of these pants. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Excuse the slippers. Um, but I'm just home today, or at least for now. I will be heading out later on. Uh, but for now I have to get some work done around, around here. So I just, I love these pants. I, I just think they're a nice, elegant trouser. They're in my color palette. I love being colorful all year round. I don't think it's a exclusive thing to spring and summer. And yeah, I'm digging this outfit. It just makes me happy. That's the thing, right? Color, which I know you guys know if you're a regular watchers of my channel, color just makes me feel good. I think it's nice to see somebody in color outside of like black everything 
in the fall winter time because I feel like that's part of the reason everyone's so excited for color in the spring is because you see everybody wearing gray, black, and really dark moody colors in the fall. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just, I feel happier in bright colors. So that's what I wear. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's all I want to show you. Oh, no, no, sorry. I'm also wearing my bracelet that you guys would have seen. I don't know if it's gonna focus, probably not. What is happening? There we go. Uh, this is a bracelet that I got from Trisha McMaster as well. The one of a kind show. It kind of reminds me of something my mom would wear, which Makes me feel happy as well. Um, so I have that on as another accessory too. Any hoozy, it is time to work. I actually think I'm gonna make another cup of coffee because why not? I'm a coffee lover. <laughs> so I'm gonna go make another cup of coffee and then bring you guys upstairs because I have some styling things I need to get done uh, for work before I head out and run some errands. So let's get to work. Okay beauties, I'm up in my office and actually instead of coffee, I decided that I should have some water but I got some sparkling water. It is the La Croix, I believe is how you say it. Um, grapefruit sparkling water. It's actually really yummy so I'm very looking forward to having that. Uh, so for now, what I have to do is uh, make some outfits. I think I talked to you guys about this yesterday, I can't remember. Um, but I have some clients that I look after monthly that I create 10 new outfits for the month and then I source three new pieces for their closet that would go with what's existing in their closet every month as well. So I'm going to be working on that this morning. Uh, and then I have a couple of style boards that I need to make for some new clients of mine just to provide them with some inspiration, make sure that we're on the same page and uh, so that I can send that off to them to make sure like this is the kind of vibe and aesthetic they wanna go for when we work together. So I'm also going to be doing that uh, this morning and then I just need to work with my web developer uh, we're working on some stuff on the back end of my website because we recently just or she I should say recently just revamped my entire website which is great so there's a couple loose ends I just need to finish up for the morning so I'm gonna hunker down and just do a boatload of computer work this morning um, but it's fun computer work I mean at least the style portion anyway so I'm looking forward to doing that and then this afternoon uh, I have to run errands like I've got my passport that I just had redone uh, that needs to get picked up at the uh, post office or at least that's what I think it is I don't actually know I got a notice saying that there's something there so I'm hoping that's what it is and then I, yeah I just have a couple of other errands I have to run I like I'd ordered a pair of pants that I was eyeing that was a like really special pair of investment pants um, but it's the wrong sizing, so those are gonna be sent back. Um, and it, like, they were okay, it just, I needed the size down, and yeah, it just, it didn't end up working because the other size was sold out, so kind of disappointed about that. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to hunker down, do the computer work, and I'll touch these with you guys soon. because I was so hungry because I didn't think I was actually going to be at the song running errands but traffic's just been busy and uh, yeah so say la vie so I have some leftover soup of Sean's at home that I'm going to devour when I get back <laughs> before dinner time and uh, tackle some more work when I get home yeah just been one of those days it's like a little bit of everything you know what I mean paperwork and like running around yeah I just I kind of feel like my days whipped by I feel like I've done everything and nothing all at the same time today <laughs> so yeah anyway I'm yeah I'm homeward bound just thought I would update you guys say hello and uh, what do I have going on today oh well I've got to get all my vlogging stuff up for the day when I get back and I have some more work that I'm doing just again working on more updates for the personal style course I'm gonna be plugging away at that I was kind of making an outline of some new ideas 
because I do update that course constantly. And uh, now I have to write out like the execution of all the videos because I want to make sure that everything makes sense, of course. So I'm going to be working on that this afternoon because as I mentioned, the personal style course is going to relaunch uh, actually in a week for registration anyway. And I just like to make sure that I've got all my bases covered and yeah, all the T's are, yeah, T's are crossed and I's are dotted. <laughs> so yeah, can't wait to just continue working once I get back. Okay, so I just got home and I'm really happy because I got some potentially new pillows in. I was talking to you guys about how the pillows on our couch, we weren't 100% sure, sorry, sure about. So I ordered some graphic ones and uh, yeah, I got like a Dalmatian print. I felt like I needed some black to pull in the black and the leopard print pillows. I know there's black in the room like with the frames and whatnot, but Sean was just feeling like the couch cushions, not all of them, just this colorful one in particular was just a little too girly for him, which is totally fine. Um, so we still may end up keeping those with like more of a graphic print, but anyway, this is kind of an experiment. I don't know if it will work because I feel like pillows, like they make such a difference, but it's all about finding the right one. So I'm going to put the covers on top of the pillow inserts that I bought just from Amazon and I'm going to see how it looks and see if we decide to keep them or not. So, fingers crossed. Okay, I'm not really sure how I feel. I do like the pillows but I can't decide if I want to move the leopard print pillow over here with the Dalmatian looking one uh, or to keep like the original like funky pillow that's here and maybe just like flip it around. It's got yellow on this side. But I'm not sure if I like that as much or I can just leave that with blue because that's the blue pillows that came with our blue chairs. Um, so I'm not really sure. Or of course I could just leave it with just black and white and pink and kind of leave it at that so it's just not as overdone with the pillow situation. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm a little, I don't know, I'm unsure. Excuse the mess in here, but I, I don't know. I like the leopard pillows that are there. Okay, angels, it is now later on in the day. It's around uh, 10 after five, uh, and I'm done for the day. I have more that I could do, but honestly, I'm just feeling kind of pooped today, so I'm calling it quits for my work day. <laughs> so now I'm gonna make some dinner, and I'm definitely the lazy chef between Sean and I could definitely not even call me a chef. So I'm just gonna show you my quick, easy, lazy meal because I don't feel like doing anything fancy. So uh, I'm gonna show you the meal that I like. This is something that I easily like go to whenever I'm just feeling like I don't wanna cook, which is often. <laughs> and this is something I often use for lunches as well because I personally find it tasty. So here's what we got. Okay, so for tonight's quick meal, I've got some cauliflower rice, which I really like. Of course, you guys can use regular rice if you want as well. I've got some leftover onion, baby spinach. This is leftover rotisserie chicken. I buy a full rotisserie chicken at the beginning of the week, sorry. Take all the meat off and then keep it in a bowl and use it in like salads, sandwiches, like dinners if I want something quick like this, etc. I find it super handy. I'm using this sauce, it's like teriyaki, sorry, it's like a chili, ter sorry, chili garlic teriyaki. <laughs> Gluten-free, organic, soy-free. They say it's paleo as well. Um, but I like it because the sugar content is fairly low in contrast to some other uh, like sauces and whatnot. Um, so that's why I like it and it's so good. It's got a, like a little bit of a bite, but not much. I'm also grabbing some paprika and also some garlic powder as well just to sprinkle into the saute with the onions. So I'm going to uh, chop up the onions, throw it in a pan with some avocado oil. Oh, that's what's missing from the equation here. So I dump some avocado oil, throw the uh, onion in, the spinach, the little bit of each of these powders. And then once that starts to cook in, I'll throw this in and then the chicken and basically that's it with the sauce. Super easy, <laughs> but I'll show you guys what I'm doing.
Okay, so things are starting to look nicely sauteed. So I'm just gonna grab some of the chicken and I just like to hoof it in. Nice and easy. And then once this chicken sort of warmed up, I will add the sauce on top and you can, again, chuck on there Oops. as much as you like. Okay, angels, let's see what's up for day six. There we go, on the bottom. Okay, and we have green tea. Oh, yummy. Soap dragon, jasmine, delicate, smooth, and floral. Oh, cute, okay. Let's brew a cup of tea. you and your cute little sweater. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Yeah, hi baby. Hi sweet baby. Very really good girl. Yeah, you're so cute. Look at that little face. <laughs> okay guys, moment of truth. I've got my tea here. Uh, I've hunkered down um, after dinner and I'm now watching The Crown. Just so good. I don't know, like I didn't know much about the royal family. I'm not like royal family obsessed like a lot of people. But I find this series so fascinating. If you guys are watching season three, let me know. Um, tell me where you are in the season unless you finish the whole thing. I'm on episode five. I actually don't know how many episodes are in the season. I haven't checked, but oh my God, it's so good. Oh, so, so good. So yeah, that's my treat for the, for the night. And then after I finish my tea, I actually think I'm going to go upstairs and just read and relax and kind of shut down for the day because I really want to go for a run and because I'm, I don't know, the past few nights I just haven't slept very well. So I've gotten up a lot later than what I normally do. I normally get up around like 5.36 and the past few mornings I've gotten up around like 7, 7.30 which is late for me and doesn't give me enough time to go for my run and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I want to go tomorrow for sure because I don't want to fall off the bandwagon with it. So I need to just get to bed early and Maybe just try and shut off earlier so that I'm sleeping better. I'm not sure why it's been kind of funky for me. Uh, anyway, I'm rambling. Let's try our tea. I love the smell of green tea. I think it's so good. Ooh, that one's like, oh, I don't know. I didn't check the ingredients in it. I don't know what's in it, but there's definitely a unwelcome bitter aftertaste. I don't know if that's what, it said it was silk jasmine green tea. Oh, I don't know. I don't like this one. Oh no. <laughs> Out of six, I've only liked how many? Two? Two? Or have I liked more than that? I'm sure you guys will probably know. No, I'm not drinking this one. <laughs> All right, so this is not a green tea that I like. Oh. No, I don't like the aftertaste in that one. If you guys have this, I'm like, who would have, out of you, do any of you have the advent calendar? And are you having it? Uh, let me know if you guys like this one. I am not a fan. <laughs> but the eggnog and the black tea I enjoyed. And is that it? I feel like that might be it that I've, I've enjoyed. If this advent calendar for the whole Christmas season ends up being bad, I may have to switch advent calendars this year, next year, sorry, for Vlogmas and find something different because I think Sean's right. If I'm not enjoying like way over half of them, then it's probably not a good advent to pick up. Should just go with something easy like chocolate. No one can ever be disappointed with chocolate. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I am going to call the vlog here. I don't know how much you guys have watched today, so I apologize if it ends up being a little bit shorter. Uh, but it was just one of those days where I needed to hunker down with work and had errands and things like that to run. So I don't know that there was a whole heck of a lot to show you. I'm not sure what you watched at this point. But I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your night. 
And uh, yeah, I will see all of you tomorrow. Bye, bye guys.